I'm Patrick Thompson, and I'm president of the Nurture Veda Institutes. I think when I was young, I wanted to be a fireman. Um, and, then, uh, and then it kind of progressed to a doctor. And um, then it progressed to uh, um, maybe a, a politician or some, someone who made a difference in people's lives and could help people. My father and grandfather were entrepreneurs, and I felt like that they, um, you know, they, they really made uh, a difference with their um, with their team members, and um, and so I grew up in that type of culture, and that was something um, that resonated with me. Um, and frankly, I only really went to law school because my father um, uh, really impressed upon me that that was something that would be good for me and that I should do. I kept giving it a chance and in fact uh, was a lawyer for eight years and uh, I didn't feel like I was um, giving um, anybody uh, real value. And uh, I think when you don't feel that um, personally, then uh, it's really difficult to feel fulfilled in life and to, and to feel personal happiness. When I moved back from New York City to Cincinnati, um, after marrying my wife, Molly, uh, I um, started working at a uh, law firm here in town. And uh, one of the clients was a gentleman named Frederick Holtzberger, who was the Aveda distributor uh, for Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, and Kentucky. And I met him. And uh, he was in the beauty industry. And um, he walked in. Uh, one day and said, um, we're going to open uh, 10 to 15 stores in the Midwest and I need somebody to help me with that. And uh, I said, I'm your man. And uh, that began a um, 25 year relationship um, that uh, has been a mentorship and um, really um, gave me the opportunity to um, enter an industry and to be exposed to a career that I love. Frederick started to invite me to different events um, prior to my becoming an employee with, uh, with his company. And uh, what I saw was an energy among people um, and a very caring group of people and motivated and driven um, to make a difference and that people who genuinely cared about others um, and their well-being, and uh, that resonated with me, and it, it made me come alive. And I, I frankly, um, I wanted to be uh, with people who were making other people feel great. I think that's a total gift, and um, it was something that I wanted to be a part of. When I joined the industry, particularly the beauty school segment of, of the business was, um, a very, uh, uh, it, it was a business that was aimed strictly at, or, or I guess an educational pursuit that was aimed strictly at um, having the student pass state board, the state board examination. And so um, it really wasn't delivering on um, the needs of the salon and the professional and where the industry had evolved to what was once a very rudimentary curriculum aimed at uh, teaching you one haircut and safety and sanitation has now evolved to teaching you to be a professional. To be a part of that and to be part of creating that and to elevating the bar higher and higher and higher on the professional nature of the industry, it's something that I'm super passionate about. You know, I, I got the opportunity to go uh, to uh, um, a great law school and have a great educational experience. And so for me, um, I want uh, the professionals in our industry to have a similar, if not better, experience than what I had. Learning never ends, and that's an Aveda belief, uh, but it's very prophetic. Because the minute that you stop learning, you die. I, I truly believe that. So for me, um, we're an education company, and that's at our, that's at our core. That's, that's who we are. Because it's very personal for me, um, in doing what you love, it, 
it becomes a, it's become a driving force uh, that that's what I want to be able to give to others. Yeah, 25 years ago when I joined the beauty industry, um, that was the last day I had to work. Um, now I get to work and, um, and more importantly, it doesn't feel like work. It's, it's a mission.